What is up, everybody? It's your boy J Trip. Uh, coming at you today with another reaction video. This one comes from our, our good friends at World Culture. It's the uh, eight videos that, or uh, the uh, it's the eight famous actors who have literally never been in a good movie. And uh, I, I want to see how literal this really is. So let's check it out, shall we? What exactly is or isn't a bad movie is up to you. For example, I like Hot Tub Time Machine, but you might watch it and go, that is utter sh**. It makes the world go round. Different opinions, different thoughts, different people, and isn't that lovely? The same goes for actors as well. You may watch an actor in a film and think, wow, they were fantastic, whereas I would look at them and go, that was like garbage. With all that said, there are some performances which I think we can all agree on are absolutely rubbish. Even if you do get a kick out of them, what's worse than this is when you notice the same actors keep popping up in these terrible roles and then a light bulb goes off in your head where you realize there's a good chance that they've never starred in something where they can be considered good and yet they keep getting work and that makes no sense now i'm Simon from what culture and this is eight famous actors who have literally never been good in a movie number eight ashton kutcher this seems unfair at first but really have a think about the movies ashton kutcher has been and his performance do from dude car, where's my car to jobs good movies to steve jobs well, the butterfly effect to a bunch of wrong Rom-coms aren't really top viewing. There's not really that many yeah, actually like rated movies where he's showing. Just go read some of the reviews about how people see him in these. Sheesh, that is brutal. He's done very well for himself though, so I assume he's pretty happy. He's also a worldwide star. I don't think he cares about any of this to be honest. Oh, well. Number seven, Taylor Lautner. Taylor Lautner is already in a poor position right out of the gates because he was in the Twilight series. Now, I've never seen those films, but I know they're about sad vampires who just want to be liked. So instantly I'm out. I am not watching them. But along with that nonsense, Taylor has also popped up in Grown Ups 2, Traces, The Ridiculous Six, and Among the Tide. But he's not been good in any of them. And most of those movies suck. Then there's Valentine's Day and Cheaper by the Dozen 2. And guess what? He sucks in them as well. At only 24 years old, he has plenty of time to sort this out. But no, he's not looking good for Taylor. Having abs, surprisingly, this isn't enough. Number six, 50 Cent. I'm sure 50 Cent would want to buy here, given he's a rapper first. But the real life Kurt as Jackson has been in enough movies that we're allowed to critique him. And wouldn't you know it, they're all awful and he's not much better in them either. This shouldn't be too much of a shock given the circumstances. But the fact he once played himself, well, you think you'd get that down. How can you not be good at playing yourself? Just be yourself. I do respect Philly though, because he's dedicated to his craft. Dropping more than 50 pounds to play the role of a football player battling cancer when things fall apart, he has tried to get better. And you can't fault that. I thought anyway. But the movie flopped, and critics absolutely laid into it. Though apparently you can fault it. And you can fault it. Number 5, Chris Klein. If we're to go on the roles Chris Klein has had so far, it seems likely he got them thanks to his looks and massive smile. This is fine if your movie isn't serious, but unfortunately some casting directors have a bit like this, and Chris has been thrown in the deep end. When that happens, man, it is not good. Klein can seemingly only play that guy from American Pie, and that can be awfully jarring if that's not the theme of your film. In fact, it actually breaks everything. Was it right down into the toilet? Then, of course, there was Rollerball. Now, that does have a redeemable feature, namely that pro wrestling legend Paul Heyman has a cameo in it. But Klein is terrible throughout, and the movie is terrible, and everything is terrible, and to be honest, Chris Klein has been terrible at everything. Number four, Megan Fox. Whether you think Megan Fox can act or not, she is a box office draw and has been in some huge films. Transformers and Teenage Mutant and Ninja Turtles have made millions of dollars, she's part of the reason for that. Unfortunately, they are also both rubbish and she wasn't good in them either. I mean, you can enjoy them, and I get a small kick out of the Turtles franchise, but not winning Oscars anytime soon, and neither is she. Then there's the likes of This Is 40 and How To Lose Friends and Alienate People, and she treads water in those well enough. It's not like Megan made these roles her own, she's kind of just there. Ultimately, she just hasn't been good in a movie yet. But we'll keep waiting, well, and then she'll just turn up in whatever old cartoon Michael Bay wants to bring back next. Number three, Jared Padalecki. Jared Padalecki was fine in Warner Brothers TV show Supernatural. That's not what we're saying here. He did a good job of making a name for himself, and that's not easy. So he deserves all the credit in the world. What is not so hot is when he makes a rare venture into a film. Be it small parts, out of Flight of the Phoenix, or a bigger challenge, such as the Friday the 13th remake, Padalecki is worse than if a mop was involved. Seriously, you can put a mop in his place, and I don't think many people would know the switch had even been made. For some reason, the world of movies just seems too much for him. If he could transfer that TV magic to the big screen, then fine. So far, 
Mother. Number, Number two, Jennifer, Jennifer Love Hewitt. Hewitt. Given, Given that every movie in the 90s featured Jennifer Love Hewitt, you'd think she'd be good in at least one of them. They're all varied too, ranging from teen comedy to action movies. Number three, Jennifer Love Hewitt. Given that every movie in the 90s featured Jennifer Love Hewitt, you'd think she'd be good in at least one of them. They're all varied too, ranging from teen comedy to slasher flicks. Giving me a plenty of opportunity to find a niche and then exploit that. There's every chance you may enjoy her in one of these. If we do that thing the internet loves to do, e.g. put her films up on movies to website for our tomatoes, it's a telling sign that not one of Hewitt's movies has achieved more than a 53%. She's also been deemed the worst reviewed actress since 1985. That is not great. Again, though, she's been kicking ass in Hollywood for years, so she's doing something right. Acting just isn't one of those things. Number one, Daniel Baldwin. It must suck to be a Baldwin. Number one, Daniel Baldwin. Everyone knows him, but the rest are all interchangeable. They're like dominoes. The worst of the bunch in terms of the performances has got to be Daniel Baldwin, though. I mean, Billy has backdraft where he's pretty good. Stephen has the usual suspects where he's very good. Daniel has been in over 100 movies and hasn't done anything of note in any of them. You probably didn't even know Daniel Baldwin was a thing. Well, they had movies on his CV. There's a reason for that. Because no one talks about, about them. I'm nominated for an Oscar. Nothing to say. Know of any other actors who have literally never been good in a movie? Let us know in the comments below. And over to like, share, and subscribe. You can even come tell me on Twitter at SimonMove16. I'm Simon from What Culture, and I will chat to you again soon. All right, yeah, all right, folks. What do you guys think? I, I disagree with a lot of people on that. On a lot of people on that list. Most of them actually, because I thought. That at some point they were in a good movie. See, that's why I wanted to see. They said literally. You can say they've been a never never been in a good movie. Okay. Then, then when you put literally in there, am I saying it right? Am I, am I saying that the, he, like he did it in English, the, the English way? Literally? Whatever. When you put that word in there, you know, it, it changes the list. And they have been in some good movies. Most of those people have been. So, as the old blokes in England would say, a bit of rubbish, yes, this was. Yes, it was. A little bit of rubbish. It's a bad English accent. Post your comments down below. Do you agree with this list? Do you think there were some good movies that those actors were actually in? Tell me in the comments down below. Or did you agree with that list and think that those guys are some of the worst actors of all time? You like this video? Hit the thumbs up button. Share it with all your family and friends. Make sure you click that subscribe button. And also, if you're a gamer, go over and subscribe to A Triple Twenty Gaming too as well. So that's it for this evening. I'm your boy AJ Trip. As always, be good to each other, y'all. And I am out.